So guys, as you can tell by the title, it's actually happening. And to be honest, I can't really believe it. I was kind of expecting it when I made that video a, a week or two ago, but it's actually happening now. And I'm kind of, it's kind of surreal, you know? What's up guys, it's Tom with Top 10 Wrestling, and WWE have just confirmed that Nia Jax is going to be facing Dean Ambrose at a house show event in Jonesboro, Arkansas. Sorry about the pronunciation on Jonesboro, that's probably not how you pronounce it, but I'm English, I don't know how to pronounce American cities. So I just wanted to make this video to spread the news about it and give my thoughts on it. WWE are listing it as an intergender special, first time ever. Uh, and by that they mean the first time ever that Nia Jax and Dean Ambrose have faced. Obviously Nia Jax attacked Dean Ambrose and she also got involved in the Men's Royal Rumble match. So it makes sense for her to be mixing it up with the men and I'm really excited to see this match actually. Now we have seen intergender matches in the last couple of years such as Becky Lynch versus James Ellsworth and Asuka versus James Ellsworth. But those matches were obviously made to make the female look dominant against you know James Ellsworth. There was no real you know full contact in there. It was more or less just pushing and tripping and shoving and like submissions and things like that. There was no really punching or anything like that. But we did see that in last year's WrestleMania match with Kurt Angle and Ronda against Triple H and Stephanie. And we also saw that with Nia in the Men's Royal Rumble. And this is probably going to be the first match, first one-on-one -on -one match between man and women in a long time that will have proper full contact. A lot of people are obviously quite unhappy about this, uh, looking at it as a way to try and bury Dean Ambrose and thinking that Nia shouldn't be getting big wins like these and, should, and that she should be punished for how unsafe she is in the ring. And while I do agree to that to a certain extent, I think that Nia Jax really is the perfect candidate to try do intergender matches with. I'm re uploading a full video late today explaining the reasons why this match is happening. Uh, so I'm not going to touch on it in this video. This video is more to give my thoughts on it. But I'm very excited for this match, okay? I really want to hopefully someone films this match and just like post it on YouTube so I can watch it. But either way, I think this is definitely a spectacle. If you are in Jonesboro, then lucky you, you're getting this match. Uh, obviously, might not be the most amazing of matches, but it's going to be a spectacle either way. It's going to be the first time in a long time that anything like this has happened so it's a really cool thing if you did enjoy this video then go ahead and smack that like button as hard as you can goodbye and keep on rolling baby